the power of conferences like this as it brings together a wide range of interested parties um, those who are taking care of people with dementia, those with dementia themselves, those who've got responsibility for decision making and planning with experts who are really uh, in a rarefied environment and actually bringing our expert thinking uh, right at the fingertips of ordinary people who are um, in the dementia world, so to speak, it, it adds great leverage to this conference. The number one battle has actually already been won. Following the um, Dementia G8 Summit in December 2013, the emphasis was all about research on cure. And over the last 18 months, various parties, such as the Alzheimer's Society, Age UK, Alzheimer's Retrust and so on, has actually moved that focus onto care. So now it's exploiting that recognition and inclusion by the Department of Health and by others who are making decisions about how to spend money on dementia care to exploit uh, that refocus. That's where it lies. The three big priorities for a conference like this are inclusion, inclusion and inclusion. And I think by funding places for ordinary people with dementia and for their carers who otherwise wouldn't be able to get here is absolutely paramount. We do it at Age UK, it's a principle on which many other charities operate and you're actually absolutely to be congratulated for doing that.